Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lucky Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 25, Area of Rectilinear Figures, Exercise 25B, Question 10. It is find the area of the triangle in each of the following, where the three sides are given as, first we have 26 cm, 28 cm and 30 cm. So, try to understand this thing. Um, suppose, this is my triangle. In this triangle, I have my height the length of the height is given right and what is given the the base is given and the height is given these two things are given but if i have another triangle this one we can calculate the area easily one by two into base into height this formula you can use to calculate the area we have we've all studied this but if i have the length of this as 26 this one as 28 this one as 30 no height right no height is given then how will you calculate the area that is the question in that case what you can do you cannot use this formula why because you don't know the height simple and you cannot calculate the height there is no way of calculating the height so to counter this problem to find a solution of this problem as well we will not be using the half base into height formula but instead we will be using a formula that was given by Hiron, the mathematician Hiron's formula it's called it says that area of a triangle is equal to the root of s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c now what is this this is used to find the area of a triangle first thing second thing is this is only used when you have a triangle with all the three sides given okay so here all the three sides are given so we can use this formula okay when the height is given then you can use half base into height now what is this s s is equal to the semi perimeter that is a plus b plus c by 2 now what is semi perimeter you will say semi perimeter is the half of the perimeter you can see if i hide this two i am left with a plus b plus c that is sum of all the three sides of the triangle which is the perimeter so this is the perimeter only but when i divide this by two i get semi perimeter half of the perimeter so that's the value of s okay and we have to calculate this we cannot skip that what, what is this a b c these are all your sides of the triangle first second third side now calculate now so see first of all you will have to calculate s so do with me you will have in place of a 26 plus in place of b 28 plus in place of c 30 and upon 2 right this way you will calculate s see what you will get here 8 6 14 4 1 there so 3 5 7 and 1 84 upon 2 that's your how much cancel cancel 42 so 42 is the value of s now first thing is to find the value of s which we have done now you can put the value of s and a and b and c in this formula see first of all you will you will not remove this sign this sign you cannot remove okay until and unless everything is done we cannot remove this sign now see s in place of s i will write 42 okay multiplied by because no sign is there and only bracket is there this means multiplication so multiplied by 42 minus 26 that is the value of what a s is 42 minus a that is 26 now come to the next bracket s again 42 minus b 28 close the bracket done now see the next bracket s minus c so s is 42 minus c is what 30 so put that down here remember what value of a b and c we have taken here same value we will take here right although it won't affect much but try to do this way only now solve this see what you get here put the root sign back 42 into 42 into now i will open these brackets see 42 minus 
uh, your 26 this is going to be 16 and then again multiply 42 minus now uh, your 28 this is going to be 14 multiply 42 minus 30 that is going to be your 12 so we have put the values now you can see if i will find the multiplication and then i will find the square root that will take a lot of time and energy so we will not waste that much time what i will do i will break down these numbers into suitable uh, pairs right see uh, over here the root sign will still be there this will not go but i can break down 42 into two numbers 6 and 7 how 42 i can write as 6 into 7 okay same for 16 i can write as 4 into 4 into now 14 how can you write uh, your uh, this 14 7 into 2 12 i can write as 6 into 2 right so it is up to you in what way you want to divide it is not necessary you will divide 12 as 6 into 2 you can even change that but remember that it should be uh, making pairs in this under root sign see how you have seen that we have divided them now use this uh, your concept that is what that is root a into root a is equal to a so use this thing and see 4 4 i can pair here itself 1 7 and another 7 i can pair this 6 and this 6 i can pair 2 into 2 i can pair and as i said uh, root a into root a will give you one whole a root sign will be removed and that is what we want here so we, what i will get here root sign is going to be removed now so 6 into 6 so in place of 6 into 6 don't write 36 just write 1 6 because root a into root a is a so 6 here now the root a into root a root 7 into root 7 that is again what 7 right same with 4 root 4 into 4 that will give you 4 now same thing with 2 so into 2 this is done now multiply and you will get the answer 6 into 7 42 into 4 into 2 8 this is 16 1 36 336 square centimeters this is your area of the triangle let's move on to the next part now see the next one here again same formula we will be using that is your area of a triangle is what the root of s into s minus a s minus b s minus c why because again we have all three sides here now calculate the value of s very first thing so 48 plus 73 plus 55 upon 2 that's what 8 3 11 5 16 so here we have 16 1 4 1 5 7 12 and 5 again 176 upon 2 that's my 88 value of s is 88 right now what we will do see put the root sign back here in place of s write 88 in now 88 minus a value was 48 so put it down here and now 8 minus uh, b that was 73 and then s minus c so in place of s again 88 minus what c that's your what 55 right now we will see what do i get here so you will have the root of 88 into now 88 minus 48 so 8 minus 8 is 0 8 minus 4 is 40 right and into now 88 minus 73 8 minus 3 that's your 5 8 minus 7 is 1 so 15 into now 88 minus 55 that is 8 minus 5 3 and 8 minus 5 3 33 this we have got after subtraction i have opened the brackets as well now in place of all of these values we will break them down into pairs to actually make our calculation easier a lot easier so we will have what 
put the root sign back here let's see 88 can be written as 11 into 8 right so 11 into 8 and 40 can be written as c once 8 i have used here so i have to get another 8 right so in with this 40 i can write as what 8 into 5 so this 8 8 paired now 15 here so again 5 i have used so another 5 i will need so what i will write this 15 as 5 into 3 so 5 and 5 also paired last we have 33 so what is left 1 3 1 11 is left so what i can write that 33 as 11 into 3 so 11 and 3 will also be paired see 8 into 8 11 into 11 5 into 5 3 into 3 every number we have paired and now easily you can multiply we have seen that your root a into root a is equal to a so put that down 11 into 11 will give you 11 uh, root 11 into root 11 is 11 into root 8 into root 8 is again 8 root 5 into root 5 again 5 and here 3 multiply to see what you get 8 into 11 so here 88 into 5 into 3 15 so 15 into 8 120 and 12 120 again and 12 so 1320 square your centimeters square centimeters this is your final answer and the area and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye